So I collaborated with a visual artist. I was hoping to understand how people who don't have any math or natural science or engineering education, how they understand what the methods are that I'm using. And the other thing I was interested in is just to have like a connection point between myself and the math community to like the general audience. So the earth movers distance is a measure between two probability distributions that tells you if they are similar or not. So you can think about a probability distribution, for example, as a pile of dirt and of the other distribution as a whole. And then the question would be, how much work is it to transform this pile of dirt or to move it into the hole? And this depends on the, the distance, the physical distance between the two and how much dirt you have to move. And the picture describes this very well using spacemen on the moon, which are trying to move around space material. And they're trying to move it into a hole, which is in the middle of the picture. And which is very nicely described is also the fact that you need to walk which is the distance traveled and you have different um, ways of walking which is described by the red lines and the shorter the red line the less work you have in the end and the longer the red line the more work you have with manifold learning what we're trying to do is giving a big data set which might be very complicated and you try to figure out which are the important variables and then in the end try to reduce the dimension and also find out the shape of the data. What the picture nicely illustrates is that we have a lot of straight lines and the underlying shape looks complicated but then some of the lines are highlighted and some of the points are highlighted and these are the ones which are important for the analysis so the rest of the lines are just irrelevant data and the things which are highlighted are the important ones and this is what manifold learning would find us if we apply it to some some kind of data set which is complicated so the random forest is a way of classifying data for example to decide if a picture is a cat or a dog and in this method you would have many decision trees which are somehow chosen randomly and each of these trees gives you an independent answer and in the end you pick the answer which has been voted the most so like if five trees say it's a cat and two trees say it's a dog then in the end you would decide it's a cat so this is the mathematical concept and in the picture we have a very nice description which is a combination of a human and a tree so they have grown together, which in my opinion illustrates that we give the decision-making process from the human to the decision tree, which is a machine. But also since we built the machine, it's not completely independent of the human. And this is how they have grown together, and have become one thing, which is a human tree machine. I think that was like a good thing for me to, to realize that in the end, even though we're doing complicated stuff, the names are chosen so well that people can have a good impression of what they are.